Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video in which we will look at graphing circles. So if you get an equation of the form x plus a squared plus y plus b squared equals r squared, it is a circle. Its center is negative a negative b, so the negative of this number is the x-coordinate, negative of this number is the y-coordinate of the center, and the radius is r. So the radius is in this number, it's the square root of this number. So let's say I want to graph x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. So this will be a circle because of the form of the equation. So the center, which I'll just call C, is going to be 0, 2. Remember, it's the negative of this value here. And the radius isn't 4. It's going to be the square root of 4, which is 2. So to graph this, let's locate the center at 0, 2, which is here. And then because the radius is 2, I go 2 in every direction, up, right, left and down. So when you've graphed these kind of endpoints, all you need to do is join them up in a circle. This here is the graph of x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. So the domain of this circle, the values x can take are between negative 2 and 2. And the range, so again, we're using these squiggly brackets because domain and range are sets. So it'll be y such that, so y can take any value between and including 0 and 4. So the reason the domain and range are restricted is you can't square root a negative. So for example, if x was a number more than 2, like 3, you'd get 9 plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. You'd have y minus 2 squared equals negative 5, which can't happen. So this circle here is clearly not a function. It would fail the vertical line test. You can draw heaps of vertical lines that hit the graph more than once. But it turns out you can think of this as two functions stuck together. So drawing like a new axis here that cuts the circle in half, this top part is a function. It would pass the vertical line test. And this bottom half is another function. So if these two here are a function, this one and this one, I should be able to write this in the form y equals something or in fx form. So if I have x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4, I want to get y by itself. First thing I'm going to do is subtract x squared from both sides. So now what I need to do is square root both sides. So, of course, when I square root this, I have to take account of the fact that I could get a positive or negative answer. So, in both of these cases, to make y the subject, I just need to add 2 to both sides. So, now we have two equations where y is the subject. It turns out this one, where there's a positive square root, that is the black function. That is the top half. And then this here, the negative square root is the bottom half. So it turns out when you take a function like this, y equals, it has a square root with an x squared being subtracted. It is just half of a circle. So if I wanted to graph this one, because it's the positive square root, it will be the top half of a circle. So let's write this equation in this form so I know which circle I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do first is add 1 to both sides. Now I'm going to square both sides of this equation. And finally, what I can do is add x squared to this side. So this is in the right form for a circle. This is a circle with center 0, negative 1, and radius 3. So I mark the center here at 0, negative 1. I go 3 up and I go three across, but this time I'm not gonna go three down because I'm only graphing the top half of this function. So sorry about my poor drawing, but it turns out that this yellow function I've drawn is the graph of y equals the square root of nine minus x squared minus one. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.